Hi, and welcome back. Um, I'm gonna go here and show you the about thing, but I'm gonna click out of it way too fast. Um, if you're wondering, I'm kind of recording all this after the fact, because it's easier for me. Um, and the sound at the very end of the video is gonna go out of sync, I'm warning you right now. Currently, all I'm doing is I'm joining the multiplayer match that I have posted on the desktop. It's on local, so I'm gonna connect to the local host and type in the IP. Um, my fiance is currently trying to connect, and Ryan is on. Her dialog box pops up under me telling Ryan, and then I dismiss it by hitting enter, so I don't see it, but I know she's on. Um, and now I'm waiting for Ryan, and we're going to set up the game and get everything working. He asked me if we're ready to go, and I'm going to tell him, yeah, okay, let's go. Um, Please excuse my bad typing. The, the typing in the dialog box actually works fine. Other than that, it has a tendency to break words, and you'll see that right now. Yeah. When they're displayed to the user, they're fine. We, we still have to kind of fix that. The dialog box graphic changed, and we never got around to fixing the, um, you know, the size of the rectangle you can type in. Um, Ryan's starting the game, and we're going to load in. Me and him are going to load in first, and then a bug will occur where... Player 3, my fiance, shows up uh, like in the middle of the world and then teleports to the thing. I don't know why that happened. Um, and then it's like, I'm looking around. Going, okay, where is she? Oh, there she is. And then she teleports back onto the podium where she's supposed to be and falls down. Um, Ryan jumps into that and starts shooting at me. And Oi. I'm going to go in there now. Oi. He said, you notice the audio might be slightly out of sync. There will come a point where it's back in sync and then it goes out of sync again. I don't know why that happened. I've never had to do this before. We recorded this all with fraps and I ended up with 90 gigabytes of video data. So, things got a little crazy. Um, you'll notice that I, te I seem to favor the ship over the turret. I'm also using the controller and not the keyboard and mouse. Um, do a barrel roll! Uh, these are my train of thought. I'm sorry. Um, we are, um, you know, we're in the process of fixing this game, making it better, making it look nicer. And when we get there, everything will be fine. It's not done. It's not finished. It's an early alpha. Um, there are still some bugs that you'll see. Um, like when somebody goes to launch the ship, it'll try to launch both of them. And that's one of the next things on our list. Is that Ryan just upgraded one of the turrets. The turrets have upgrades. You can access the upgrades from the little um, computer console that was that was in the main room there. Um, and you'll notice that the asteroids appear to be moving very slowly. We are on level 1. They get faster. Um, we actually don't lose this game. Um, we spent so much time developing it, we didn't have a lot of time to actually sit and playtest it, because we had all these features we had to get in. Um, and look, we were saved by the bell. Um, and he just upgraded a bunch of the turrets. The upgrades, they give you more ammunition, let you shoot faster, you do more damage, all the asteroids have health. This is the upgrade screen. Um, you can, you know, cycle through the upgrades here. Back there is the ships. Over there is the bridge where you start levels and leak the game. We don't plan on having a... Or, well, we're still not sure. We're debating whether we're going to have a pause menu or not. Um, I think we should. I think the developer doesn't think we should, and we should have everything be contextual, but I think we have to have some kind of in-game menu um, that you can access with pause, even if it's something as simple as leaving the game for them. Um, it's a point of contention, and we'll figure that one out as we come to it, right? Um, but like I said, you'll notice I favor the ship, and this is where it was. I was fighting it, because Ryan had launched a ship and I forgot that this bug was still there. Um, so at some point I just decided to let it do its thing. There you go. 
Um, the uh, ships are also planned to have upgrades. We've already got most of the upgrades in place. We just don't have the menu there on the computer deck. I'm shooting at one of the turrets because I can. Um, I'm using the controller, and the controller. I'm used to mouse and keyboard. Flying in the flying in the ship of the controller is cool, but it's not easy to aim it. And I've done my best to try to get like acceleration or dampening in there, and it's still it's not quite how I want it. So I got rid of it because it was even less accurate with the dampening. Um, but as you can see, we're doing a little better this time, and so we're gonna mock shoot at each other, and I'm gonna pretend to crash into him. If you see where Ryan's going, he's going to start the level. I'm going to go upgrade a turret. Um, while we're in the turret, the um, we got an, I've got an upgraded one. As you can see, it's, she's, she's pretty fast. Um, you'll see later what happens when you're in a level six turret. Basically, a laser machine gun. If you notice, um, everybody's laser is color coded, so you know who's shooting. This is the reason why we didn't want to show this game in single player. We don't yet have an AI that moves around the ship and helps you. If we did, we wouldn't have a problem with it. And he upgraded the turret I'm in just now. Um. <sighs> I'm gonna get the ship again. As I said, I favor flying it because I just think the experience is awesome. I like flying around. He, Ryan once called me a ship hog. The little black line that keeps showing up on the screen. Um, didn't know what caused that bug until about five minutes ago. We've already fixed it. Um, it's just not in this video. Like I said, this video is completely un unchanged from the one we presented. Um, so if you're an instructor watching this, who gives us a grade, this is the grade we deserve, not whatever the fixed versions that are going to come out in the next week are, because class is over. Saved by the bell. Um, but yeah, you'll, you'll notice that the audio will end up going off by about two seconds. Um, I don't actually know what to talk about. I want the game to kind of speak for itself. I'm trying to try not to ramble so much. I'm sure you guys are a lot more interested in actually watching the game than listening to me. Um, so, uh, from here on to the end, and you've got another, like, eight minutes of this. Um, I'm gonna stay quiet and just let you enjoy. Unless, of course, there's a reason for me to talk, and then I'll, I'll talk. There's the level 6 turret. It's actually really hard to um, resist just using up all of your ammo because of how awesome it is that you shoot that fast. Once again, I'm back at the terminal trying to find a turret to upgrade. Um, if you notice, the your scores all added up, divided by hat, are um, equal to the amount of helium three you collect, and use the helium three to to upgrade the ships and the turrets. 
Um, we're going to have animation in this program too pretty soon, and we have much better character models we could be showing you. If you guys notice some general lag or jumpiness, it's actually fraps that was causing it during the recording. And the ship's getting hit. Um, although it looks on my screen like we were supposed to have gotten the game over at some point, I was the only one who did that. Because um, when you crash into the ship, when you crash into the main ship with the fighter, um, it's supposed to take damage from the main ship from its health. Um, and it only happens on the client. I forgot to tell it to send the packet. From I think things are behaving weird right there. Yeah, that was that was where when we tried to launch at the same time it got weird for a second. I'm going to do my best to try to doctor up the audio and video sync before I get this sent to YouTube, but I can guarantee you it's not going to be perfect, so I'm not going to cut out the quarter of the <laughs> <laughs> you crash into the ship, the hell of it.
We have a lot of planned feedback type features, like when you shoot the asteroid and um, a little number will come up over their head or you'll see a health bar. Um, I think you guys should just stick around, see where we take this. This, like I said, this, this, if it's not a beta, it's a prototype. Anyway, you can like, comment, subscribe. You know, if, if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more, um, we plan on releasing this game for free when it's done. We're not going to charge you for it. This is something we did because we wanted to learn how to make games and how to make them good. Want people to play our games and enjoy them and, and love them as much as we do. So, as soon as we have it done, of course we're going to have a website and a download where you can go and get it. Um, and if, if you want to see more like this or you have something to say, um, don't, you know, don't, don't be afraid to stick it in the box below. And, uh, I hope, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. I hope I wasn't rambling too much. If you guys want me to shut up and just show the game instead of talking over it the whole time, if I do this in the future, say something, let me know. Um, Maybe I should be more awake for the uh, actual talking part so I don't walk over my own tongue so much. Um, this is Brandon Richmond for Team MindSync, and you are looking at Proxima Centauri Beta 0 0.3.1. Um, I hope you guys get interested in playing the game when it's out. It's You're going to get to watch it get better and better as time goes on. Thank you very much, and good night.